Hi, and welcome to our math presentation, presented by the BSCN Math. Today, we are going to discuss about Euclid's elements. The Alexandrian Greek mathematician Euclid collected all known work in the field of mathematics and arranged it in his famous treatise called Elements. Euclid assumed certain properties which were not to be proved. These assumptions are actually obvious universal truth. He divided them into two types, axioms and postulates. To understand this, let's take a sample from one of his propositions, Proposition 6 and 16. Now we have to prove Proposition 6. It states that only one perpendicular can be drawn to a given line from a given external point. Let's take this figure as an example. Hint. Let AB be the given line, P the given external point, PC a perpendicular to AB from P, and PD be any other line from P to AB. Now the problem is, we need to prove that PD is not perpendicular to AB. Where there is only one perpendicular can be drawn to a given line from a given external point. So our proof will be, let AB be the given line, P is the given external point, and line PC is perpendicular to line AB from P. Hence, line PD be any other line from P to line AB. Then, we need to assume that through P, we can draw two perpendicular lines to a given line such that line PC is parallel to line PD. Since line PC and line PD doesn't intersect, then it contradicts to our hypothesis. Thus, our assumption must be false, and it follows that through P, we can draw only one perpendicular line to a given line. Now we can prove that in Proposition 6, only one perpendicular can be drawn to a given line from a given external point. Next is, we need to prove Proposition 16. It states that if two parallel lines are cut by a transversal, the two interior angles on the same side of the transversal are supplementary. To prove this proposition, let's take this figure as an example. Our given is, line TV is parallel to line WY with transversal line RS. Now we need to prove that angle 1 and angle 3 are supplementary. So our first statement will be line TV is parallel to line WY with transversal line RS. Our reason for that is our given. The second one is angle 1 is congruent to angle 2. Our reason for this is from the definition of alternate interior angle postulate. It states that if two parallel lines are cut by a transversal, then the alternate interior angles are congruent. Third is, measure of angle 1 is equal to measure of angle 2. Since our statement in number 2 is angle 1 is congruent to angle 2, then our reason for statement 3 will be if two angles are congruent, then the angles have the same measure. Fourth is, angle WXY is a straight angle, so measure of angle WXY is equal to 180 degrees. Our reason for that is, if an angle is a straight angle, then its measure is 180 degrees. Our fifth statement is measure of angle 2 plus measure of angle 3 
is equal to measure of angle WXY. Our reason for this is the angle addition postulate, which states that if we have two adjacent angles, which is angle 2 and angle 3, then the measure of the resulting angle will be equal to the sum of two original angle measure, which is the measure of angle WXY. 6 is measure of angle 2 plus measure of angle 3 is equal to 180 degrees. Our reason for this is substitution. Since we have proven that in statement 4, measure of angle WXY is equal to 180 degrees. And we have proven in its statement 5 that measure of angle 2 plus measure of angle 3 is equal to measure of angle WXY. So by substitution, we can now conclude that measure of angle 2 plus measure of angle 3 is equal to 180 degrees. Also, the same process in statement 7 that measure of angle 1 plus measure of angle 3 is equal to 180 degrees by the reason of substitution. And now, for our final statement, angle 1 and angle 3 are supplementary. Since we have proven that in statement 7, measure of angle 1 plus measure of angle 3 is equal to 180 degrees by substitution, now, our reason for statement 8 is if the sum of measure of two angles is 180 degrees, then the angles are supplementary. So now, we have proven that angle 1 and angle 3 are supplementary, which is acceptable in Proposition 16 that states that if two parallel lines are cut via transversal, then the two interior angles on the same side of the transversal are supplementary. So I guess that will be the end of our presentation for today. Until next time, we'll be seeing you here in our math presentation.